out because it's above freezing, which is good because that means I can paint without using any antifreeze in my water medium. But I have a view along the stream that I like. So the next most important and obvious thing we want to do to gain more control over our creations is find artists to use in our prompt. Just scroll through, look what catches your eye. Okay, I've been talking a little bit about AI bros, prompters, and AI apologists. I want to go into a theory of the origin story of the AI bro, the AI artist, whatever you want to call them. I mean, here are two little screenshots I've found on Twitter. One of them who's just ragging on the artist that he's exploiting, and the other one asking, can I train a model based on my favorite artist's work? and start taking commissions. Basically just rubbing two brain cells together to just connect the dots here. You can see the idea forming in his tiny little primal mind. I mean, to the guy's credit, at least he asked permission, I guess. he's Here's a theory, here's a theory for you. In 2020 and moving into 2021, mid 2021, you had the pump boys. These uh, bros who were pumping meme coins and it was the greater fool theory at play. Alt coins, meme coins that had no inherent value. And I remember on Discord in 2020 and 2021, I was getting at least two DMs per day from random people. And these bots were sending me an invite to a pump group where they would pump these old coins. And then in 2021, you see the rise of the NFT bros. Just like with crypto, the technology itself is very is very interesting and I'm sure it will have future applications, but you had this wave of bros, that's the only way I can put it. Because it was such a new technology, they were using NFTs to basically try to make a quick profit while doing as little work as possible. And then in 2022, you have the AI prompters. I think they've kind of moved on because my inbox in Discord has not had any NFT uh, pump group requests or meme coin requests for a long time now. I think it's because they've all moved on to AI prompting. That's their new hustle. Unfortunately, they are also joined by fledgling artists who haven't really got many formed opinions about art. And also they are joined by Unfortunately, just the uninformed public who is not aware of the moral and ethical issues surrounding AI art because it's being played down in many of these circles. Key characteristics of the AI bros though, as a core group of people, my observations are they want a quick profit from minimal effort, are willing to exploit others in the process, and they use new technology before legislation catches up. <laughs> That looks insane. So for the next 30 days, I'm gonna try to sell AI art and see how much money I can make with my masterpiece. Let's try to generate a gangster baby oil painting. That baby is looking fresh. Even master artists are mostly unknown to the mainstream public. And this makes it easy to impress people with slightly mutated art from unfamiliar masters. Just add the false marketing about the AI forming original art and hey, you have a license to steal. Prompters use information disparity to build social media followings, sell merchandise and take on commissions with unlicensed, unethical images propped up by the art industry. There are so many ways that I can use DALI to create artwork that I would have previously had to spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars on to hire an artist to create for me. I'm excited for me. I'm excited for me. The prompter sees art as worthless pixels on a screen. Pixels which can be taken and exploited. They're kind of like pixel merchants. The prompter refuses to acknowledge the vast time, money and effort that went into making these, these original images that have been stolen. And this naivety can partly be blamed, I believe, on social media. The major social media networks are literally changing the name of artwork, photography, music and film to content, which in my opinion is just such a degrading word. It's kind of like a trough of feed. More than ever, people are dissociating art from the hardworking, risk-taking people who made it. An artist makes art. What makes content? I suppose anything can make content, right? You have content creators, yes, but content kind of opens up the floor to allow this kind of 
endless computer generated feed force feeding you mush over and over again of uh, things that aren't meaningful. Art used to be a lot more valued. So anyway, getting back to the AI bros, I quite liked this meme that I found. The character of the AI bro and the AI prompter, they didn't have the patience to learn the software. But then when Stability AI comes around, they change their tune completely and they say like, I've always been a genius, adapts to AI or become obsolete Luddites. Watch out as your superior takes your jobs. Do you really think that trained artists couldn't beat you at prompting if they didn't have the backbone that they have? Like if they didn't have the moral fiber that they have to not use prompters, you don't think that artists could wipe the floor with you at prompting? because this is what we're trained at. We are trained to be creative. We spend our lives studying art. Anyway, it's just, just kind of a funny meme. I thought this was uh, very accurate. At first I thought I would portray them like, like an evolving ape, you know, they're evolving from meme coins to NFTs to AI art, but there's no evolution involved. They're actually more like locusts, I would say. They have a very short attention span. And that's why they've only arrived in the art scene when it became reduced to a quick multiple choice selection process. A bit like what you have at a character selection screen on a game. I'm at my friend Daniel's place right now and he has an insane gaming PC with an Nvidia GPU. Let's generate some AI art. <laughs> Bananas in space, baby, we got Elon Musk in there too. Banana spaceship? Just like Locust, the majority will leave as soon as there's a new AAA game that comes out or there is a bigger opportunity to exploit some poor souls for easy money somewhere else. Are you a prompter watching this? This is the impression you are making on the artist community. Stop prompting until we have a fair system established. Plus, if you sign up to one of their memberships, then you can legally sell the artwork that you create. So as you can see, they have three different plans. If you're paying these image generators, you are a very big part of the problem. We're not saying that the image generators and developers aren't to blame. They are absolutely to blame, but you are enabling them. You are giving the product value when you decide to turn your back on the moral and ethical issues with AI generated images. So here is something that you can do that is completely legal, but whether it's ethical is another question. <gasps> is he about to acknowledge that AI art is insanely unethical for the artists that are forced into being in the data sets? You can copy the prompt. Oh, never mind, I guess. I make it rain. I want to bring this to a specific case study that I um, mentioned earlier. Sam does arts. This guy has been in the firing line of prompters, of AI bros. I haven't followed Sam does arts that uh, closely, but I have been aware of him for a number of years. I've seen his art and his YouTube videos. He's a very popular artist. His artwork is very aesthetic. He specializes, I suppose, in um, painting females. Now they've set up this subreddit. I was just, I'll, I'll just show you. I was appalled at what I saw in this subreddit, which was kind of focused on Sam does arts. They were working to get as close to Sam's art style as possible. And they were openly using Sam's name and copyrighted brand for this. Like that's part of the appeal is like you can get the Sam does arts look to the images that this generates. Now people are using Sam's specific data set, a portfolio he built over many years, as a kind of marionette doll to serve their every whim. So I put together this meme here. Um, by the way, all the memes will be available in the description below. You can you can download them and spread them. We need to spread the word about these problems, okay? Like I think memes are quite an effective way to get the word out about what's going on in these spaces. These were the images that were showcased by the developer showing what you can do with this new prompter that specifically targets Sam Does Arts. So he starts off with bunnies and then I feel like the developer was almost hinting at what this could be used for. And you have generated pictures of uh, military uniform and things. Yeah, it just made me think about how this is being used kind of as a marionette doll to serve other people's whims. But the problem is that this is getting mistaken for Sam Does Arts. His brand is being tarnished by this. It's being watered down and his livelihood is being taken away from him by his own stolen art. 
how's he going to get commissions? If anyone can create any image in Sam Does Art's style, because of his stolen images, by the way, because of his stolen data set, how can he take on commissions from now on if that's something he wants to do for money? You know, he's had that option, that livelihood taken away from him. How could he run merch when someone can, can just prompt? I'm going to show you how you can generate insane amounts of money with AI generated art. Guys, I cannot believe it. Here we have, like on this subreddit, we have this battle of the Sams. Which Sam does arts model does it best? They are literally competing on how close they can get to imitating Sam's style and doing uh, these false impersonations. This is kind of like a deep fake of an artist's brand. Look, if you haven't been an artist, I will tell you, your brand is everything as an artist. Everything hinges on your brand. If your brand is sullied by something like this, it causes a lot of damage to your livelihood. Now, this is the most infuriating part, so I will be reading this out. I'm gonna read it out because I want you to get a feel for how condescending these AI bros are to the artist that they are ripping off. Hey Sam, hope you're doing well this holiday season. To be honest, we had no idea who you were until a minor drama outbreak occurred on r slash stable diffusion regarding a lone hobbyist, <laughs> a hobbyist, taking some time to create an homage to your art style. Oh right, it's an homage, is it? so that anyone with stable diffusion could attempt to recreate your work, perhaps even improve it. <laughs> what the hell, like this guy is so... Ugh. As you may or may not be aware, you probably are aware, your reaction to calling out this individual and his work created a Streisand effect, resulting in a slew of aspiring AI artists taking up the task of creating models in your art style. Sam Does Arts is now not only one of the most copied models, but also the most downloaded. In the event that you're actually some kind of reverse psychology savant and wanted this to happen to better spread your style and marketing, then bravo, fantastic job. If not, well, unfortunate. To celebrate the work of these fine creators, <laughs> fine creators, what the, you really think they're creators? To celebrate the work of these fine creators, we're hosting a Battle of the Sams where members of r slash Stable Diffusion can vote on which of your models did it best. First prize will be an 8x10 of any of your prints from your print shop since we actually believe in supporting artists. I've linked a couple of entries for your famous scrutiny. If none of these are up to snuff, we'd love to work with you to create an official Sam Does Art model. Could be a fun project. All the best, Civitai. I don't know who Civitai is. The host of this forum sends a mocking email to Sam, basically saying, we are taking your style and there's nothing you can do about it. And also trying to make the case in some way that they believe in supporting artists. Basically saying that like the publicity that this has gotten for Sam's name is making up for any of the harm that they're doing. I don't know about you, but this kind of email just makes me so mad. <laughs> like artists like Sam need to be protected. Sam basically asked them to stop this. Literally, the guy who their entire model is based on, and they are taunting him, linking to him all of these entries of people that are that are exploiting his artwork. And it doesn't stop there. The Redditor who created the latest like version 4 model of Sam Does Art's impersonator was complaining about underrepresentation in Sam's portfolio and taking matters into his own hands to fix the problem. So he was complaining about this character who shows up a lot in Sam's portfolio, this female with white hair, and saying that like the community has more varied interests and fixing this problem in Sam's portfolio, which is so condescending. I mean, I know guys, we're not talking about legal stuff anymore. Like we're just talking about disrespect, the disrespect and entitlement that these prompters have towards an artist like Sam is like 
overwhelming. This character, this girl, we don't know who she is, right? But this could be Sam's representation of his real life girlfriend or, or a significant other for all we know. Whoever she is, she is important to Sam. Sam has painted her and drawn her many times. So this is an important character to Sam. And this AI could be used to do things like to twist her into indecent and undignified poses, which the more I think about it, the more just like disgusted I am about this community that is taking all of these liberties that they never should have had in the first place. They never had the right to do this to an artist. They should not have the right to do this. It's amazing how Sandra Halper can be 100% reliant on Sam's art style and yet have such disrespect for him at the same time. This is just one clear example of artist portfolios and brands being specifically targeted for plagiarism and misuse, but there are more happening as we speak. I mean, in the comments of this model, one comment was said, yo, can we get a Wallop please? That guy is a real bona fide art god. So they're gonna go after Wallop soon as well because he also makes images of pretty women. So it's just gonna continue. They're just gonna go around to their favorite artists and they're gonna, they're gonna export these models and just completely sully their brand. They literally attach the artist's name to these artworks and to this generator. It's absolutely disgraceful. These can be made to do very dark things to an artist. I can only imagine what it feels like for Sam to to witness this happening. He must be distraught at this. I know I would be. Luckily, they're not really using it to endorse a war or to, maybe they are making porn, I don't know. But I guess it's lucky that most of these AI bros don't have very high ambitions. This is a meme that I just took off of their, the same subreddit, just to show you that they don't really have very high ambitions. <sighs> but look, behind the data that has been stolen, this massive data heist, that's mostly affecting right now comic artists and illustrators, concept artists, digital artists, modelers and photographers as well. Behind all of this data and these data sets are real people being exploited. Go ahead, look at their faces. These are real people and they have names. Go ahead and look at their names. They are the ones being exploited. And it's not just pixels on a screen. It's hard work. It's thousands of hours of hard concentration, thousands of dollars in equipment and student debt. They are professionals. They pay rent with their art. Some of them have kids. They have invested in their artwork and their brand so that they can pay off these debts, so that they can provide for their families. They're some of the hardest working people I know. They bring so much joy and life into the world at great cost to them. You think it's fun to make hundreds of high quality concept art renders. Why don't you try it? It's hard work. It's, it takes dedication. It takes grit. It's at great cost to them. And I can't stand to see their work being forced into a meat grinder with no way out. They have no consent in this. They do not give their consent and someone needs to stand up for them. We need to speak out for them. We need to support them. If people say I'm biased, heck yeah, I'm biased. Artists did nothing wrong in this. Artists didn't start this mess. Artists don't deserve this and they should protest. I won't be a Stan Prokopenko sitting comfortably in the middle saying, well, both sides make good points. Like it's two warring tribes with equal claim to some land. That's not honest. We respectfully but firmly reject the falsehoods made by these AI advocates. We don't want to be buddies with people who degrade our work. We want accountability for the damage they have caused and a behavioral shift on the side of the AI developers to caution and responsibility. This has been part four of a six part lecture series. Thank you very much to these people for giving me support, encouragement and information to help. You can help the cause by contributing to one of these crowdfunders. I'll link them in the description. Click to watch another video here. Thank you.